I need to inform you all of everything that I found out. I apologize for the for the fucking for the nose thing. I have I caught a cold. I've been up all night trying to put everything together with this whole email fiasco thing that happened with me. During the course of the night, during the course of the night, at some point, whoever did that craziness to my email, they got my other email. My other email, which was considered my personal email, is now facing the same spam as my Etika World Network YouTube email. So that means that I have no access to any of the resources that I normally use in my life. So I had to ensure that I found out all the information possible for this thing. Now, bear with me here because I my, my, my head is a little, it's a little bit scrambled with this, but I think I have all the information here required. And I did a couple of things during the night as well too, to be able to present so you know exactly what's going on. I got a VPN during the night and it fucking will help me to be able to keep everything private but that's not the only thing that I can fucking do. I did something else as well too. Now here let's go to the browser real quick. I'm gonna show you guys because a lot of people say, hey, Etika, man, your comment section is full of cancer and all this other stuff. But no, there's helpful people in my comment section who are working with me right now to be able to get to the bottom of all that's happening right now with my emails, why they're getting spammed to hell, why I can't receive new messages. And it all happened from the comments. I want to thank everybody who gave me valuable information here. I am about to show you all what happened to me how easily it can be done to someone else and potentially try to find a way to stop it right now. So at some point in the night, I found out what had happened. We're going to go to a website which is basically made to spam other people's email accounts if it gets them. And it's called Mailbait. Now, like I, like I said, I know I'm not too constructed right now, but I got to the core of what was going on with this thing. I know exactly what's happening. We go to Mailbait, right? This is website where I'm going to open a new tab right now. You go here, Mailbait. I made a status about this on um, Twitter as well, too. Mailbait, fill your inbox. So this is the website that someone put my email into. And it's not just my email that can be put into this. It's your email. It's PewDiePie's email. It's it's the goddamn fucking director of Google's email if you want it to be. It can be anyone's email that you put into this thing. And it'll do the same thing that it did to me. Spam it with messages endlessly. And make it so you no longer get in messages that are important. Because it's considered too full to be able to look through. I have nothing else to lose at this point, so all you guys are going to see all the information that I have to display here. What we're going to do is go to click here to start. Now the form is relatively simple. As you can see, it says fill your inbox with email. That's the basis of the website. That's the way the website works. So now I was like, okay, I need to understand this system 100% to be able to fully dissect it, how it works, and to potentially fix it. So I have made a separate email account as well too. So if we go here, we're gonna to go to gmail.com and uh, we're going to sign in. And these are all my emails right now. They're already all compromised. It doesn't even matter anymore. I mean, emails are something that shouldn't have to be so big of a worry in order to have public or whatever. YouTubers have their emails public all the time. I can go to any big YouTuber's YouTube channel his email will be public, but this can be done to them or anyone else. Family member, it doesn't matter. So we're going to go. So we're going to go to the fucking email that I made for this purpose. We're going to go to this one. We're going to go to next. Blah, blah, blah. Yada, yada, yada. And sign in. And now... We're at this email. Oh man, it already happened. Did it already happen? Uh, was this it? Yeah, this is it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm. G I really need to fucking get my head straight. So this is the email, right? This is a pure, innocent email. 
which I basically use just for fucking around purposes. You can see it has no promotional emails, no spam emails. The email here is perfectly legit. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open up something else here. We're going to pull Mailbait in, right? And we're going to put in to Mailbait the email that we just used just now. Um, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. We're going to put this email in. What is this email? It's macrosvlad at gmail.com. Take the email. Copy this shit. And we're going to... Yeah, this email account just was used just basically just for random shit. I basically made it for experimenting in the first place. But we're going to take this email and go to run on this website, Mailbait. This will all be linked in the description. You can go to this website yourself and follow the steps that I'm doing right now. So now we're going to enter in the email address that you want to fuck up. And this is the key right here. All it takes is the email address. There's no other verification that you need. So you're going to make sure that you have your pop-ups off. And you're going to click run mailbait. And now here you get to edit the speed of how fast these spam messages get sent to that email address. So we're going to send 60 per minute because obviously we have to go overdrive here in order to show you guys how this fucking system works and how malicious it can be. And the reason as to why you can't get new messages when Mailbot is sending you these spam messages is because there's so many coming in. 60 spams per per fucking minute that means you can't check your email no matter what the hell you do well you won't get new email no matter what you do so right now i'm not 100 percent sure about how the form works per se but um yeah i'm gonna move this to the side right i'm gonna move this to the side and it says right here three forms processed well actually no, let's bring it back three forms processed overall progress one out of 747 packs, working on pack 473, progress 3 of 57. I don't know exactly what that means, but that's the way the website works. So now we're going to close this, move this over to the side, and now we're going to refresh my test email here. And eventually, we're going to start seeing all those spam emails come in. And now it's starting to work. So as you can see here, this is the way Mailbot works. You can see these forms process things. What those basically mean is that it's going to be adding you to a subscription list over and over again, as you guys are seeing right now in the e look, look, it's signing my other email address, the testing one, up for these random survey, well, not surveys, but you know, random, uh, uh, random things. Anyways, let's move this to the side. And um, actually, no, before we move this to the side, let's take a look at exactly what Mailbot is saying here. It's has, it says 32 forms processed. We got to click this. Oh, man, it happens so fast. It signs you up so fast that you can't even fucking stop it. You can't even stop it. There we go. 43 forms processed. You can leave this running in the background while you go to fucking jerk off. And it will just fill that email that you targeted in that form with spam from here to kingdom come. And there's no kind of thing you have to do to verify, if, you know, it's if this is legit or not. You can basically use this website to ruin someone's email for good. This form is just going to keep running. So now it says it's working. It's working in the background. So we're going to move this over here. We're going to let this keep working. And now let's go to the, my test email. Here they fucking come. There's nothing about this that I think warrants this website being able to do something like this so easily. I mean, it's crazy. Anyone's email can just be signed up for this thing. Um, as we can see, we got two of the emails already. And this thing is putting out those emails so fast. It's putting them out so quickly that my email, the test email, can't even keep up right now. So far, how many forms are done? So far, we have uh, 161 forms processed. There we go. Here they come. You saw it just happen. The spam is beginning. And at this point, you're not going to be able to receive any more new messages that aren't the spam because it fills up the queue of so many messages that you won't be able to get anything new. This is all it takes. You can do this to your friends. You can do this to your family. You can do this to whoever the hell you want. You can do this to Markiplier. You can do this to fucking Kobe. 
You can do this to anyone that you manage to get their email address. All you gotta do is go to the description of this video or just fucking Google, just fucking Google run mail bait and uh, you got all the controls right there. All the power is right there in your motherfucking hands for you to be able to totally decimate anyone's potential of getting new emails. Um, this is detrimental for somebody like me who obviously lives off of this. But the reason why I'm doing this is because we have to understand that this is a very deadly tool, right? But we can use this. Will they listen to us if we talk to them civilly, if we tell them about the problem ahead of time without breaking it down? And, you know, no, no, they won't. They won't. The only way that a higher power will be able to listen to you is if they see the negative effects of this in their own home territory. That's always been the way it's been with a lot of situations in history. Not all, but a lot of them, they have to see the worst before they aim to make it better. And it's sad that that has to be the way it is. Look at my email. Look at the testing email account. It's totally gone. All these just came in at 6.54 a.m. Right now, it's 6.54 a.m. And you can see all of these coming in in the same minute, minutes apart. We can go to the spam messages. And I bet some will be there. No, no, they are, they're all going straight to the inbox. This is, how, this is all it takes, guys. And they're just going to keep coming frequently. So now, what can we do about this? I'm not sure if there's a way to solve this. I don't know if there ever will be a way to solve this. But maybe potentially the only way it could be solved is if the website itself is totally removed and the script disabled. But what are the chances of that happening? The only way that something like that will be able to go down is if enough attention is brought upon this to where someone in a high position of authority will be forced to make a move to take this website down. Because something like this being done so easily is crazy. Now, one feature that the website has is that it says, well, if you use Mailbait, it will send your IP address along with all these spam emails. So in every single one of these spam emails, there will be an IP address. Now, I looked into this myself, and every spam email in my regular YouTube email that I got that had an IP address, it was from a different country, a different region, different location, and that's because they used a VPN to be able to conceal their IP address safely. That's basically all you have to do to be able to protect yourself if you're trying to spam somebody with this because the VPN will ensure that your email and your security doesn't get compromised. So right now, you know, I don't want to put anyone's shit on blast, even though it's not my email that's going to be, be showing with this. But right now, if I go to one of these spam emails and I open it up, you guys know what it looks like from my previous video. But if I go to any one of these spam emails and open it up, it's not going to be my IP address because I'm using a VPN right now, which basically conceals my IP address fully. So let me show you guys, for instance. Um, we're going to move this over here. We're going to move this here. And we're going to go back to my inbox, which is currently being spammed by the mailbot, which I set up just now in the snap of two seconds. So we go to my inbox, right? We're going to go to where these emails are all coming in from. And we're just going to click on one random email. You see that IP address right there? That 104, it says right here, we received a request from 104, 104, 156, 240, 196 for subscription of email service across Vlad, blah, blah, blah. I don't give a fuck. We're going to copy this IP address, right? And this is, you're, you're probably saying, Etika, you're showing us your IP address on fucking camera? No, I'm not showing you my IP address, motherfucker. Oh, man, the thing is keeping me from doing it. Um, we're going to look up IP, IP address. This is what it's saying my IP address is, guys. So, obviously, with this information, you can fuck my life up, pretty much. Except, this is not my IP address, because I'm using a motherfucking VPN, motherfucker. So, you go here. And uh, what's my IP address? Right now, according to this, I live in fucking Florida. <laughs> That's how easy it is. That's all you gotta do. Get a fucking VPN, get the email, and you can run amok. It's so hilariously, in it's, it's so hilariously insane. God almighty. Back in 2008 and 9, I would have lost my mind with this. That's when I was, uh, that's when I was at my lowest stage. <laughs> I was fucking browsing fucking all kinds of crazy ass websites. I was doing all kinds of wild shit. 
But you know, that's not me anymore per se. I still like watching shit burn though. Which is why I don't see this as such a negative thing per se. Because this is almost exciting in a way. Like, there's a way for us to just ram someone's asshole who's in a position where they wouldn't care about this otherwise. It's it's one hell of a power to have and now you have the information you have the knowledge bestowed upon you get a vpn change your ip address to whatever the hell you want it to be right now i'm in florida let's go to fucking speed test let's see exactly what it's saying about my internet connection you know what tell me the details of where i live speed test tell me the details you, a lot of you probably already know how fucking vpn works i've used them before um, I can change this shit to whatever the hell I want, too. I can make this shit look like I'm in fucking Colorado, like I'm in fucking Spain, like I'm in fucking Antarctica if I truly wanted to. That's how easy this shit is to pull off. And wow, oh, oh, I, I haven't done anything malicious to anyone with this yet, but this is how crazy this shit is. So, yeah, at this point, I really don't know what's going to happen from here, but I gave you the information and... I trust you guys to do the right thing with it. The right thing would be to... What time is it? It's 7 a.m. Wow. All right, let's go back to the emails. These things are just pouring in, man. 6.59, and I got a ton of emails coming in. <laughs> <laughs> That's how fucking easy it is to do. I love it. I love it. It's it's so fucking crazy. Look, they all just popped in at one time. <laughs> all thanks to the one little website, an email address, and a VPN. Technology, my man. So this is like some this is like some swatting shit in a sense. You know? Anyways. You got the info now.